Hi everyone, welcome to a camera comparison. So it's the Samsung Galaxy A52 versus the Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite. Front facing cameras right now, 1080p, 30 and 60 is all you can record on the Xiaomi. And I've lowered the resolution down on the Samsung. That can actually do 4K 30 with the front facing camera, but it doesn't have any electronic image stabilization. So 32 megapixel camera with the Samsung versus a 16 megapixel on the Xiaomi. So they both look quite a bit different here, especially the exposure. Step into the sun now and see how they handle that. And I'll be swapping over the audio sources as well. So let me know which one you feel sounds the best. And as quick jog ahead, testing out that stabilization on both of these. Let's take a look at the rear cameras now. Rear cameras now. So this is 4K 30 and they both have 64 megapixels, both f 1.8 aperture. However, the Samsung has a couple of advantages here with video quality and that is it has optical image stabilization but it doesn't seem to have any electronic being applied so you see as I walk along it does tend to shake around more because it is purely electronic image stabilization with the Mi 11. Now what the other thing that the Samsung has is is it can actually swap on the fly over to the ultra wide and it can also shoot 4k with the ultra wide and we cannot do that if I try to go to the ultra wide now it will not let me with the Mi 11. So I'm going to jog ahead now and just demonstrate that electronic image stabilization. That because of the smoothness, I think I prefer the Mi 11 light here. Panning around, there is more jutter, however, coming through on the Mi 11 light. And if you do take it very, very smooth and don't intend to walk or run, it is sharper the footage on the A52 5G. Ultra wide cameras now. So 4K with the Samsung, A52 can do 4K, and we just have the 1080p with the Mi 11 on the Xiaomi here. And you can see that the sharper image and better looking image quality wise is definitely on the Samsung. However, it is shaking around here. It doesn't seem to have very good electronic image stabilization if any. So I will just jog down these steps and you can clearly see that the footage on the Samsung shakes all over the place even though it does look quite a bit sharper and more detailed. I've switched over to 1080p now with the ultra wide camera on the Samsung and the 1080p Max with the ultra wide on the Xiaomi and I think stability wise that the Xiaomi is a little bit more stable, the electronic image stabilization. However, the quality and the sharpness and the details being captured, I think here on the A52 5G, does look a little bit better. So as I pan around, uh, the Xiaomi tends to jutter, show a little bit more jutter, more often than the A52. So a quick jog ahead with the 1080p ultra wide footage. Let me know in the comments which one you think has the best electronic image stability here with the ultra wide. And over to our low light video performance. So difficult conditions for both of these phones here. So the 32 megapixel sensor uh, in the Samsung up against the 16 in the Mi 11 Lite here, the Xiaomi, is it actually going to give it any advantage here? So both of them set to 1080p. Let's have a look now at the rear cameras in low light. It's very dark here at the moment. It's almost 10 p.m. And low light video now, so one of them does have optical image stabilization, the Samsung, but it does not seem to be helping here because it looks to me like the Mi 11 Lite is doing a much better job. I mean, look at the noise that's coming through too with the black sky. So it's currently almost 10 p.m. And both of these phones are struggling. Okay, but now it looks a little bit different here on the Samsung. So walk along. Which one do you think looks the best? Look at the noise around near the tree. And a short jog ahead.
So here are my findings. If you shoot a lot of video footage, I would go with the Mi 11 Lite because it has the electronic image stabilization for 4K and even at 1080p, it does seem a lot smoother and better. However, not quite as detailed and as sharp looking as the A52 5G. So disappointing that Samsung does not apply any electronic image stabilization to 4K footage, only optical. Now the optical image stabilization does help out, however, in low light photos for the Samsung A52 5G that took a sharper image, slightly more detail. Apart from then, the front facing camera in low light, I found the Mi 11 Lite was better there. Now audio quality in video, I have to give the win there to the Samsung because it didn't get affected by the wind as much. For some reason, the Xiaomi really does get affected. You can hear that wind coming through through the microphones, but it wasn't as bad on the A52 5G. And in the daytime stills, I think the ultra wide definitely was the best on the Samsung. And even though the Samsung did have very detailed daytime shots, the white balance was sometimes off being towards a bluish kind of tint instead of being white there. So thank you so much for watching my camera comparison. And I do hope to see you back in the next one. Subscribe for more videos from me.